Congress bill. Numbers 1 through 15 were built in the 1840s as glass blowers homes for the glass factory mountain near Lake Desolation. When the factory moved to the corner of Congress Ave and Empire Ave in 1871, the houses were brought to their present location by means of horse and skids, horses and skids, Department of Public Works. That's where the house is I'll be doing today. All right, good morning. I have a permission for a new house or a new property, I should say. The easiest way to explain it is this house was once located somewhere else in the 1800s and in the early 1920s, it was relocated to this lot. So it's been in this position at least a hundred years. So I've gotten permission to do the property. I did buy the sidewalk yesterday, but I had to leave early, unfortunately, family stuff going on. So I'm back today. I'm hoping to spend at least an hour and see what I can find. Okay, I'll get back to you on the first good target. I'm gonna curse myself with my first live dig, throwing up a 24 to the plug. 24, 25, sounds nice and high pitched. So it's either a bottle cap or a penny or <laughs> possibly even a silver dime. More than likely a regular dime, but let's go see what it is together. Let's see if we can uncurse ourselves. How awesome would it be to get a nice silver on a live dig. Brought my GoPro, but I forgot to put the SD card in it. So, so much for that. No, I don't see anything silver peeking out. Well, it's not gonna be because I don't see. It. Oops, there it is, whatever it is. Penny. Oh wait. Oh yeah, is that Lincoln? It's a wheat penny, I think. Oh, I don't know. It looks different. Hang on. It is. Okay, it's a wheat penny. Hey, that's something. It's a wheat penny. That's good anyway. My first old target, other than nails. You get that little color. I can't quite get it. Here on a 19... 40? 1940 something. Probably a 44. I found lots of 44s. But hey, I'll take it. Whoops, almost fell over backwards. Wheat penny, yay. Moving on. All right, way down there. I got half of an ox shoe with the nail still intact. Look at that. How cool is that? That's the second one I found in the city limits. <laughs> of course, it wasn't in the city limits once upon a time. There was a big old farm field behind me. That is so cool. First good find of the day. Well... I wouldn't say good find because the wheat penny was really cool. But I'm gonna put that in here so it doesn't, well, where are we gonna put it? Put it in my baggie, hang on. That's really cool. I checked the other half isn't in there. How cool was that? It was down about 10 inches, about 10 inches. Cool, moving on. I got a phone call so that kind of interrupted my swing here, but I got a good signal. If I can find it again. Where was it? Right here somewhere. Whoop. There we go. 25, 28. Kind of all over. Here a little. Brunt. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but I'm hoping there might be something good there. So I'm going to take you along on the dig. Let's do the whole thing here. I can find my spot. You put that there. Get my towel. All right. Let's see if we can find something good here. Maybe it's a chain spill or a coin spill. And I'm hoping for some silver here. I'm hoping that we're going to find some. I found half of an ox shoe. And, of course, nails. A wheat penny. So there's a chance there's going to be something good here. Just got to find it. So let's see what we've got. This is a very exciting place. I don't know if anyone's ever dug this. The woman who lives here now said they've lived here since 86. So as far as she knows, it hasn't been touched at least since 1986. Oh, now I can't hear anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, we should be close enough. Okay. 
to get it with our pin pointer. Looks like we had a nice little ant farm here. Oh, and red one's my favorite. <laughs> Not. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, nothing yet. Okay, now we'll try. Nope. Oh. Okay, there's something there. Let's get this going. Oh, there it go. Let's get some more out. Thought it hurt something. Well, have I cursed myself with the live dig? Did they come out? Well, <laughs> this just isn't working out right, is it? Oh. So it might have came out of the hole. Has it been a surface find? That didn't sound like a surface. Well, you know what? Surface finds do sound funny, don't they? Can't even talk. Now I don't see it. All right, let's give it a little swing, see what's going on. And I think I will, well, no, I'm going to keep you with me. What the heck? Learn the reality is metal detecting. Well, it looks like I missed it. Looks like it's right here in this corner. So let's give it another little shot. We probably just missed it completely. Be gentle here, not make a big mess. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this on? <laughs> oh, it's not on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, hear, I hear something. Okay, it looks like it's just uh, aluminum siding or something. Stop that. Let's see what we got. Oh, sounds like we got it. Oh, there we go. It's a penny. Looks like, yep, it's a wheat penny. <laughs> wheat penny way down there. Let's see if that's also a 44. Oh, it's a little toasty, hard to read that one. I can't, maybe you can see the year. I can't get it. Get this other little rub. To make it bigger. Huh? I'm gonna rub it because it's only a penny and hope it's not a VDB penny. <laughs> well, I can't tell. I can tell. Enlarge it. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we're going to have to use our YouTube magic to figure out what it is because I don't know what it is. All right, let's see if there's anything else in the hole. Hang on. Isn't filming. I got wheat number three, 2324 signal. It's a little toasty, too. Maybe we can get a date off this one. Well, I can see the 19. That's all I can see is the 19. You can see, and up there, it looks like there's a small two at the end. Yeah, that's all I can see really clear. Yeah, I cannot see the year. Oh, wait, 42, 1942. All right, so we're getting some 40s in this dirt. We'll keep looking. Let's bring up a 1920. I don't know what it is. Hang on. It's shaped kind of like a jar. 
a spot here, or like a screw or something that goes all the way through. Get a rim. And this piece looks like it was probably bent that it was supposed to be straight or maybe even curved. First I thought I found part of a crotal bell, but that was definitely not that. Well, I can't say definitely, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So I don't know what that is or what it's for. So if you figure it out, you let me know. All right, moving on. I'm swinging for about an hour. My first target that's good is a wheat scent. Really damaged. Well, probably just needs some cleaning. I only know it's a wheat scent because I can see that on the back. Clean that up when we get home. Find out what year it is. I don't see any VDB on it, so it's probably safe to rub. That's pretty cool. All right, moving on. Okay, this is ringing up a 22, 23. It's probably a wheat. Pe oh wait, I think it is a wheat penny. Let me get this over to the side here so you can see too. Yeah, that's a weed. Okay, I thought it was going to be an Indian for a second. It kind of looked Indian-ish. But this is my third or fourth wheat penny from this yard. So that's good. We're getting there. So we can see the year. Hold on. 30. I think it's a 35. I'll put it here so you can see too. Thirty-five or thirty-six. Awesome. Okay. Okay, this is just a few inches away from where the other wheat penny was. So I'm thinking this is another wheat penny. So I can see Lincoln on there. Sounded the same, about a 23. It's green. Yep, that's definitely wheat. Oh, well, you can see that. So we get a year on it. So I'm wondering if because I'm finding all these wheat pennies and I haven't found a lick of silver yet, if someone has been here in the past. Wow, well, I can't see that. Hold on. Ooh, 1928. 1928. That's the oldest so far, 1928. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, this was all over the place. It looks like it's possibly a keyhole type thing from a piece of furniture or something. Try to keep that so you can see it better. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Looks very much like that's what it is, something to that effect. Cool. To keep, whoops, it's a keeper though, I like it. So we will keep that, all right. Moving on. Rang up 23, 24, it is the letter E. Probably from the old mailbox. I'm next to the mailbox. I just found a bolt. Now I've got the letter E. Okay, moving on. All right, I found this ashtray. I believe that's what it is from the olden days. Remember those old ashtrays? <laughs> Ramp 32, 34 sounded so sweet. I was hoping for my silver coin. <laughs> but I got an ashtray instead. Not a smoker anymore. I quit smoking, I think, eight years ago, seven or eight years ago. So that's not it. I did find a harmonica reed, part of one. Bring up a 12. So I have to get out of here. But I was on the phone, so I couldn't film it. I did take a picture of it. And so we get out of here, I'll show it to you. Well, I can't get it, so we'll look at it another time. It's only a little piece, nothing major. All right, moving on. I think my GoPro's out of SD card. This is interesting. I'm thinking, well, it's definitely some kind of a hook thing. Let's see, get you up here. This end was probably fixated or attached to a wall, and then it would slide back and forth or turn around to hook something. I hate when I talk and I end the sentence with a high voice, like I'm asking a question, like that. <laughs> um, so I don't know, that's what I'm guessing it is. Uh, I'm gonna keep it just in case. All right, moving on. Mm -hmm. 